you guys are getting really good at winning the opening game of the season. You win 5-2. to two. What were your impressions of the game? Yeah, I thought uh, we started pretty good, and it's always nice to get the win. I thought in the second period we, we did too many turnovers, but uh, in the third, we, we were better than that. I know the team has talked a lot about trying to clamp down defensively and play a real physical game this season, starting it off. How did you think you did in that department? Uh, not too bad. I thought uh, there's still room for uh, improvement, but I thought we, we did well. We didn't give them much, so uh, but we just need to get better. You and I talked uh, during training camp, and I remarked to you, you look so quick in training camp. You came in in great shape. You're always in good shape, but you tweaked what you did in the offseason a little bit, huh? And it's given you some more quickness? Uh, I mean, a little bit, yeah. I feel I feel pretty good. Uh, I don't want to say I, I feel awesome. I feel, I feel just uh, uh, a little bit better than last year, and uh, hopefully it shows on the ice. The team had a terrific season last year. You win 62 games. You're going to be asked this all season long. What did it What did it do to you guys, and how does your team feel different this year? Well, uh, I guess, like you said, we had a great, great season, bad playoffs. We just need to turn uh, turn the page, learn from our mistakes, and it's a new season, and, uh, and uh, you know, we, we don't look back. It's a great start, winning the first one. Well done. Thanks a lot. Uh, you know, it's a little bit of a slow start. I uh, definitely wasn't happy with, uh, with my game probably 30 minutes in, but... You know, stuck with it and uh, just got used to to how this team plays. I think it's uh, obviously going to be a work in progress, and uh, I just have to make sure that I'm, you know, just getting better every shift and and learn how to play with uh, with these guys out here because they play a, f a lot of fun uh, with a lot of fun out there and, and a lot of speed and skill. And um, as it goes along here, we'll uh, we'll get caught up. Settle you down a little bit to see one go in the net for you. Yeah, that always helps uh, when. When you get that one to go in, and um, you know, I think for me it was uh, really just getting a puck to the net and, and hoping for the best. It it, uh, it seemed to be there most of the night, uh, those shooting lanes, and um, it was just one of those ones that uh, you kind of look and everyone else starts celebrating before you. So you figure something good happen. You've been through this before. You come with a new team. Is there is there a time frame? Is there I don't know where you start to feel comfortable? Because I imagine just three or four preseason games isn't enough. No, I, I think uh, you know it's it's just a matter of, of me getting myself up to speed. I think it's uh, you know whether it's three, five games, whatever it is, it's uh, it's just on me to make sure that I'm you know going tomorrow looking at some clips and and making sure that i'm talking with the coaches and talking with uh with victor through some plays and uh all those little things seem to help you as you get into games and really what it comes down to is uh it's just not thinking you know i think once the systems and everything start to become second nature then that's when the game starts to become a little easier garden notorious for being loud but how was that emily arena crowd oh that was unbelievable uh those fans were were rocking and you know even after uh after they tie it up there in the third um you know we did a good job of uh of staying positive obviously but you know the crowd doesn't get you down here they're uh, they're right there to pick you up uh, after the, after moments like that and that's huge I know you weren't part of it last year but this this team ran away with a lot of games in the regular season is it is it maybe better to, to have these types of wins these tight wins yeah I think these uh, these build a lot of character for a team and uh, you know whether we're, we're going through this now or you know at game 60 um, you know it's important that we're finding those uh, those little challenges within the season and um, you know games right now are not going to be the cleanest but we have to make sure that we're uh, we're doing little things right and working hard and establishing, uh, you know, our identity early and, and making sure that that's something that's constant throughout the year. Kev, how was the playing with Hattie, man? It seemed like you guys got stronger as the game went on. You and yeah, it. yeah. We uh, I thought we had a really good third period, uh, and that was something that we just focused on coming in after the second. And uh, we know we knew it wasn't the cleanest game yet, but um, we did a good job of of being very uh, deliberate with pucks and, and making sure that we were making the right plays and making strong plays and, um, you know, really taking care of our zone. The process here with the new team and some new faces and for yourself and some other guys to kind of get familiar with this team. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's nice, you know, just uh, getting to know the guys, familiar faces. That's why you have camp to kind of get to know the guys. and. Um, and like especially in the locker room, you know, your confidence and get to know each other a little swagger. I think it will bring out, bring it, bring it, bring it out nice, and the chemistry will start to flow. But like I said before, it's nice to get out there and you know finally play meaningful games, you know, and, and uh, go out there and sweat with the guys and enjoy it and uh, grind it out with the guys. And I thought the guys did a really good job of grinding it out tonight. And, uh, 
you know, Plot's line did a hell of a job of shutting down that top line, and the PK did a really good job tonight, too. So, uh, but we have still room for improvement, and uh, we're going to continue to get better and work on things like that. So you took a shot off the leg there. You take a little while to take that, one, <laughs> take that one off. Yeah, I'm used to those, so you'll probably see me go down a lot in front of the net. I'll get hit a lot there. Uh, so my job is not to move the front of the net. If I get hit, I get hit. That's my job, so I've I made a career of doing that. So it hurts. It stings a little bit. Get back to the bench. Your knee locks it up, but, you know, you go back out there and try to do it again. I think I'm not going to go like that, right? So yeah, you know, just got to go to the front of the net. Good things happen. You know, lucky bounce off the boards, but my job is to stay in front of that and look for dirty second and third opportunities, and the boys did a good job of whacking the puck and getting second and third opportunities. I was just there to clean up the trash. What did you think of the atmosphere in the building tonight? It was great. This place is electric. Uh, we obviously knew that. Playing in a way I played here when I was in New Jersey for the playoffs, played against this team, and the building just rocks every night. Even in the regular season, this building rocks and we have this is a good fan base and really good fan base so i'm looking forward to playing in front of these fans every night uh, you guys were shooting the buck and uh, scoring goals yeah mm -hmm. that that was it pretty much uh was uh nothing fast for me it was easy like open ice you know like nothing crazy about it you guys just uh, put it on net and scored so it was uh it was huge when you look back at last year, you guys finished up a lot of games, first, second period, with, with the domination that you had. A tight game like this, do you welcome more games like this, these these tight, close finishes? Yeah, because you you got to play 60 minutes, not, you know, 20. But I feel like last year we we still, like, we shut them, them down and we played with some good games. And uh, it didn't matter if we went 6-0 six no, six in the first period. But we still had to shut them down and uh, play the game the right way. So, uh but uh, these games are fun, especially against Florida. They're uh, they're a great team, and uh, yeah. Anything special about facing Bobrovsky in this first game after you know last year? No, he's uh, he's a good goalie. Uh, yeah, that's it. You talked to Kip about being better defensively individually. It seemed like you made a big play in that first period, that two on one. Just how much is that you kind of take pride in that kind of thing, even more so than the points? I guess you're. Going for. Yeah, that's what I care about the most. I guess. Uh, Playing the on the right position, uh, playing tough, uh, not losing battles. Uh, that's what uh, that's what I try to do, and uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna try to improve it more and more, and uh, try to get some more ice time, PK, and you know, show them that I'm ready for a tough four. You took the trophy for the Art Ross Trophy. Yeah. You took the trophy for the Art Ross Trophy. What do you mean? What, what, what? Points, points out in the league. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he said I have the most points in the league, but <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna. Yeah, it's not gonna take long for the big guys to uh, catch me. Obviously. Thanks, sir. Thank yeah. you. Markov, uh, Huberto, Dadnov. You talk about best lines in the league. You, you'd have to throw them in there as as. Um, one of the top ones, and so when you have to go head to head against them the whole night, um, it was they did a great job because those are three special players, and to keep them, you know, pretty much off the board uh, the whole night was um, was was just an outstanding night, you know, with him with Pally and Australian Killer, and you know it's only fitting that when you know they, we gave up the shorthanded goal that Palat was the guy that got the go ahead goal and thought he deserved it. Did you guys approach Bobrovsky any differently than the four goals tonight compared to the only eight in those previous four? No. Bobrovsky's a world-class goalie. Um, you know, there was, you, you have to have good goals to beat him. And tips and rebounds and pucks that are laying there, you got to put them in, and we did tonight. Uh, but, you know, you saw, I mean, the save he made in Palat in the second period was unbelievable and and so that he um you know we we generated some chances and and uh he stopped a lot of them some he didn't Coop, they both had their fair share of opening nights but how nice is it to see for and Maroon both get on the score yeah they you know they've been important guys for us in the in the preseason and they brought some uh some new life into our room and and you know not that we needed it but it's you know some definitely some characters and um, I thought, you know, both those guys played the role that they play on teams. And uh, but for them both to score in the opening night, I think Patty had the line. He's on pace for 82. So <laughs> you know, let's see how that goes for him. Uh, but that it's just stuff like that that uh, you know puts a smile on your face and uh, good for them. Yeah, 
Listen, it was game one, and there was a lot of the game I liked. Um, again, did we get bit by a little bit of the turnover bug in which, you know, we gave up a two-on-one and a three-on-one and, and things that are in our control not to give up, we did. Um, and But as a whole, you know, can we be better as a team? There's no question. It's game one, so it's... Uh, <sighs> There's so much excitement. It's the home crowd. It's game one. Um, so the guys are running around a little bit. And I'm sure uh, Coach Q is probably saying the same thing. But uh, and I look at the big picture. We came here to get two points. And uh, we had to face a little bit of adversity, especially there in the third, and thought we handled it well. Do you welcome some of that adversity compared to some of those games last year? You go up six nothing, you know, five nothing in some of the games last year. Do you welcome more now? Mm, I welcome us to play, to work extremely hard and play responsible hockey. Uh, know what the score is, and the guys, you know, making sure winning is the most important thing, and. Uh, that's what I pull for. So regardless of what the score is, uh, that's what I want our team to do. And uh, so far, so good. Coop Sergachev just spoke about wanting to you know, kind of round out his game. He wants to try to get on the PK. How encouraging is it to see a young guy with all the skill in the world offensively wanting to just be more well-rounded defensively? Well, if you want to become a great player in the league, those are the things you need to do. And, and uh, um, guys have different talents. And the... Um, it's, you know, McDonough is a different player than Sergachev. So why one guy plays in the power play and the other guy's, you know, a big PK guy for us. And uh, to round out your game, though, to be able to you know, handle top four minutes and be able to put in those situations, I'm sure all the guys want that. And uh, but does Sergachev have the talent to do that? There's no question. But let's remember, he's, I don't know if he's 21 years old yet, and uh, he's played I bet he's already got 150 games in the league, so um, his tra trajectory is going the right way.